Hello, it's me, hi Oscar from Marijuana Garden. In the vast blue expanse of the South Atlantic, an unprecedented spectacle is unfolding. Hundreds of humpback whales are gathering in giant supergroups, a breathtaking phenomenon that has scientists scrambling for answers. For decades we understood these majestic creatures as largely solitary wanderers. But now, off the coast of South Africa, they are rewriting the rulebook of their own behavior, challenging everything we thought we knew about their social lives. Humpbacks are famous for their epic migrations, often traveling thousands of miles alone or in small pods like a mother and her calf. Their social lives were believed to be fleeting, centered around breeding or brief feeding opportunities. But what we're seeing here is different. These aren't just a few whales, these are supergroups of 20 to more than 200 individuals, a social event on a scale never before documented for this species in the Southern Hemisphere. The discovery began between 2011 and 2015, when researchers documented these massive aggregations in the Benguela upwelling system. This powerful oceanic current brings cold, nutrient-rich water from the deep to the surface, creating an explosion of life. It's one of the ocean's most productive regions, a veritable buffet. But even here, a gathering of this magnitude was a complete shock. For scientists, it's both baffling and exciting, a brand new chapter in the life history of humpbacks unfolding before our eyes, so, why now? One compelling theory is a story of recovery. For nearly a century, industrial whaling pushed humpbacks to the brink of extinction, with some populations reduced by over 95%. Their numbers became so low that large-scale social behaviors may have simply vanished. With the global ban on whaling, their populations have made a remarkable comeback. It's possible we aren't seeing a new behavior, but the revival of an ancient one. A social memory reawakened as their numbers returned to historic levels. Another key part of the puzzle is food. The Benguela system is experiencing shifts, potentially concentrating krill and small fish into dense patches. This abundance could be the magnet drawing the whales together. But it's not just about the food, it's about how they get it. Humpbacks are highly intelligent, capable of cultural transmission, passing hunting strategies from one to another. In these supergroups, experienced hunters might be teaching new, cooperative foraging methods. It's a dynamic classroom where younger whales can learn from the masters. Is this a revival of old patterns, or an adaptation to a rapidly changing ocean? The answer is likely a complex mix of both. These supergroups are a powerful ecological force, reshaping the local food web. Their presence tells a story of resilience, intelligence, and the profound interconnectedness of marine life. As researchers continue to monitor these gatherings, one thing is certain. The humpback whale is reminding us that even the most familiar giants of the sea still hold deep mysteries, and the ocean story is far from fully written. Source, Findlay, K.P. et al., 2017. Humpback Whale Supergroups, a novel low-latitude feeding behavior of Southern Hemisphere humpback whales, PLOS One, 